Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today I'm going to build this Zvezda Panzerkampfwagen 38T. This is a 15mm or 1 100th scale plastic snap together kit, perfect for games like Flames of War or Zvezda's own game Art of Tactic. The back of the box shows us some information about parts count and the size of the model, as well as three views of the built kit and an exploded diagram as instructions. The little slip of paper with instructions normally found in Zvezda's 15mm scale kits wasn't included, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very simple build. Here is what the single sprue this model comes on looks like. There certainly aren't a lot of parts, but it is quite neat. There isn't much by the way of mould lines, though they are of course there as usual, and will need to be removed. That shouldn't be a challenge at all. I believe this is an older kit from Zvezda. Their later offerings do tend to include more parts, but these earlier ones are much more simple. Of course, it could just be because this is a tiny tank, so they didn't need to make it in as many parts. Either way, the parts that are there do look okay. The detail isn't astounding by any means, and you wouldn't really expect it to be, but it's not bad. There's even some rivet detail that looks fairly decent. The turret on this kit comes as a single piece, which is a little bit surprising. I mean, I have seen small single piece turrets before, but it is a bit unusual for the main turret to be one part. It does look okay despite this though. Okay, let's start building. I begin with the tracks. These are glued onto the sides of the hull. Who would have thought, right? There are guide pins to get the positioning right, and they go on very easily. I did apply a fair bit of pressure trying to get these as hard up against the hull as I could. The parts do flex a bit and I think they're fairly strong but they still might break if you pressed a bit too hard, so do be careful. This being a snap together kit you can get away without using glue, but I want it to stay together, so I'm using glue, as you've seen. In this case, Tamiya Extra Thin. After a bit of pressure, the tracks are in place and they look pretty decent in my opinion. Now we can add the upper hull parts. It would make sense that this part should go on first, but it doesn't have any pins or anything to hold it in place, and I wasn't especially confident that I would put it on right. But the upper hull part does have guide pins and seems to sit nicely in the middle part, so I add glue and then attach both parts at the same time. This worked pretty well. There was a little bit of resistance at the front of the hull, but I was more powerful. The fit isn't the best, there's a bit of a gap at the front and rear of the hull, but that could easily be fixed if you wanted to invest a couple of minutes and some putty into this model. I nudged the tracks a bit so that they're straight and that's the hull completed, already. Now for the turret, which we don't have to build because it's a single piece. It fits into place with a pin that slots nicely into the raised mounting hole thing on the top of the hull, very easy. And that's the Zvezda 15mm scale Panzer 38T complete. The T stands for tiny. Okay, that might be a lie, but in this case it might as well stand for tiny because it is. Anyway, let's compare this model with the Plastic Soldier Company version. You can immediately see that these tanks are quite different. They are the same tank, but the Plastic Soldier Company version, in the dark grey if you couldn't tell, has a lot more detail. The Zvezda kit has simple flat spots for the viewports, but the Plastic Soldier Company kit has actual… things there. There's also a lot more rivet detail. The Zvezda kit is also a bit taller and more chunky looking. When you look at them side by side it's clear that they would look a bit odd fighting together in the same platoon. I don't think the Zvezda kit is bad, and it is after all a gaming piece. It looks like a Panzer 38T, so if that's all you need it'll work fine. The Plastic Soldier Company kit is clearly more detailed, and will likely look more convincing on the table. On the other hand, it is more effort to build. Some people like that, myself included. It does also include some stowage, and can be built as martyrs if you prefer that over the Panzer 38T. But if you want something you can just snap together in minutes, slap a couple of colours on and have yourself a Panzer 38T, the Zvezda kit might be a better choice for you. There's also prices and availability to look at if you do intend to add some of these tanks to your forces. I'm not going to tell you which one to buy, you can look at them for yourself and form your own opinions. Okay, so obviously this model isn't super detailed, not even close, and I don't feel like it's quite as good as some of the newer offerings from Zvezda. That's not to say it's awful, 
It does a good job of representing a Panzer 38T on the table, and that's really all it needs to do. If you buy a kit like this expecting to have your mind blown by extraordinary detail or something like that, your disappointment is your own fault. This is roughly the same quality and level of detail as the Panzer 3 and 4 from Zvezda, and it's probably from around the same time too. They aren't bad models either, it's just that they are first and foremost gaming pieces. Not only that, but they are quite cheap, so you've got to keep that in mind. If you've seen the Zvezda King Tiger or the Jag Panther, for example, you'll know that they've become a little bit more complex and have a bit more detail. Not especially relevant to this kit, but I know there are some people who will see this and think, all Zvezda kits are just like this. I don't really have much else to say about this. It was quick and easy to build, and it was almost complete before I even knew it. It was enjoyable enough though, and I didn't find any real issues. I'm sure this model isn't to everybody's taste, but it exists and now you know what it looks like. I think it's fine. It does what it's meant to do, and it doesn't cost too much. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Unless all you're going to do is whine, then probably just keep it to yourself. Also, don't forget to subscribe, follow, ring the bell, and all the other things you do on YouTube and social media. Links to all of the things, including Patreon and my Twitch channel, are in the description below. And of course, as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, and thank you for watching. Farewell.